Is there any method to reset iPhone password without losing data? You may have had similar issues, especially when you forget your iPhone password and enter incorrect passwords multiple times. The answer is yes. In today's video, I will show you three methods to reset iPhone password without losing data. Please watch this video carefully. Reset iPhone with previous password. If you're using an iPhone with iOS 17 or a later version and have recently changed your passcode, this method can help you. When you enter your passcode incorrectly too many times there will be an option to reset your iPhone in the bottom right corner of the screen and tap Forgot Passcode. You can use your old passcode for 72 hours to sign in temporarily. When you sign in to your iPhone this way, you must immediately change your passcode again. Otherwise, you'll have to reset your iPhone which will result in the loss of your data. 2. Reset iPhone in simple steps. If the first method can't solve your problem, you can choose to use any unlock to make it easier and faster to reset iPhone password without losing data. With it, you can reset iPhone password in just three simple steps. Moreover, it can remove other iOS locks, such as the Apple ID lock, MDM restrictions, iCloud activation lock, and SIM lock. Next, let's see how to reset iPhone password without losing data. Before you start, you'll need to have a backup already stored in iCloud or on your computer to avoid losing data. Step 1. Open any unlock on your PC or Mac and click Unlock Screen Passcode. Next, connect your iPhone to your computer using a USB cable and click Start Now. Now, select the Download Path and click on the Download button to download the iOS firmware. After the firmware is downloaded, click Unlock Now then any unlock will automatically unlock the screen passcode. Please do not disconnect your device until it restarts. Finally, when the process is completed, you will see the interface saying screen passcode removed successfully, and your problem of an unavailable iPhone has been fixed. Additionally, don't forget to restore the backup of your iPhone via iTunes or iCloud. Hope you can solve the issue by following the methods provided in this video. If you like it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment below. See you next time.